Now, if I go back on over here, the, the amount that we have in accounts payable was due to the beginning balance that we put into the system. And so we have a sub ledger related to it. And so let's check that out. I'm gonna go to the tab to the right, right click on it and duplicate it. And let's go to the reports on the left hand side, the reports, close up the boogie. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and then we're going down to who you owe money to, they call it something like, I went too far. You've gone too far this time. What you owe, there it is. Let's go to the accounts payable aging summary. And then we'll say as of the end of the year, we'll say 12, 31, 2, 3, and run it. So in a similar way as the accounts receivable has an aging breaking out by who owes us the money, accounts payable has an aging by who we owe the money to. In this case, just one person, the 15,000 subledger tying in to what's on the accounts payable. Now, of course, in practice, when we, when we deal with our vendors, as we enter the bills, we're gonna enter the bills as they come in and then we're gonna we're gonna sort the bills and then pay the bills so then the question is how do i sort and pay the bills we can go to the left hand side typically and go into our expenses area and then we could go to the vendors and there's our vendors i'm going to close up the hand boogie and so the vendors can get quite long because there's a lot of different people that we're paying but we're often sorting in here for paying off the bills the open bills so i can go to the open bills up top and i can see my vendors that i have open bills for i can go into the vendor and i can see the bill that way and i can schedule a payment here and so on that way and if i was on the business view by the way that is located under the get paid and pay area and then the pay area and the vendors so you have that so another way that we can look at it if i hit the open button here We've got the expenses tab, and then we've got our bills tab here, which is another way that we can uh, sort out our bills. So I'm gonna go to the unpaid bills. So there's our unpaid bill and then the paid bills, and then we don't have any yet. And then we can go to the expenses tab as well. And this is where we can filter all of kind of like the forms in our, our payment cycle or vendor cycle. And I can sort by the bills. And then I can see the bills that are either open or paid. So here we've got the bill that is open. So those are the ways that you can kind of get into it. If I was looking at the business view, by the way, that's located a little bit different area in the bookkeeping. And then in the transactions up top and then the expenses. Okay, and then, and then of course, when we pay the bill, Typically, another way that we can sort them is just by the pay bill form.